Hello, Mayor McCarthy. How are you tonight? Uh, it's like some great night for our city. It is. Uh, yeah. It's the ungala to again recognize Philip Morris' 10th anniversary of being part of uh, this great institution here, of Proctor's Theater. That I introduce our esteemed MC. He is a brilliant raconteur, a writer of great depth and clarity, with a voice that rivals Frank Sinatra. <laughs> Mr. Rex Smith. What an introduction. So, welcome to the Un Gala. Now, the name of this suggests uh, something, of course, Un Gala, and I have to tell you that I was instructed to try to be Un Gala ish. Philip reluctantly agreed to let this be an honor of him if we would not uh, overdo it a little bit. So we're all trying to look like Philip. That's why I've got my jeans and boots on with my tux. So uh, it's going to be a wonderful evening all the way around as we honor this remarkable leader of our community, Philip Morris. And to start this off, now you may not know this, but Philip has some Greek heritage. Surprise to all of you, I'm sure. And therefore, to begin the evening, we will have the Potia Hellenic Society under the direction of Evan Ripadu, who is the owner of the Anthology Floral Studio just across the street. Ladies and gentlemen, Fotia! I'm Richard Lovers, the marketing director for Capital Repertory Theater and Proctors, and this is our Un Gala. And uh, if you look around, people look pretty fabulous, so, but there are some jeans here tonight, and there's a little bit of uh, laid back nature celebrating Philip Morris' 10 years here at Proctors. And uh, it's going to be quite a party. Just one look at you.
people to, to, uh, to thank, a lot of folks who have made such a difference in this community uh, through their association with Proctors and especially through their help tonight. Um, in particular, thanks to our corporate sponsor, Sandra's Fine Jewelry, uh, the decor sponsor, Experience and Creative Design. Uh, I'd like to name the uh, corporate table sponsors, uh, the Gillespie Group, the uh, Holiday at Hampton Inn Hotels of Schenectady, uh, Key Bank, Mazone Hospitality, uh, Price Choppers Gold Foundation, St. Peter's Health Partners, uh, the Table Hosts, Fenimore Asset Management, um, the Gazette, by the way, uh, let me just say a word, I love the Gazette, uh, and uh, this was, if you didn't get a copy, there's this wonderful section that the Gazette did that you all are going to get a copy of. And, pick up. and uh, General Electric, another table host. And of course, the uh, honorary chairs uh, of this event this evening uh, the Mayor of Schenectady, General Gary McCarthy, the Mayor of Albany, General Jerry Jennings, the Mayor of Saratoga, Honorable Scott Johnson and the Mayor of Troy, Honorable Lou Rosamelia. So, uh, a, a great thing, and the Planning Committee. You know, the uh, uh, you already met uh, Betty Barlin and Barbara Bishop Ward, who are the chairs of the Planning Committee. What a great event this is Now, and so there are gonna be little bits of Greek culture sprinkled throughout the evening. You already had a little bit of this with the dance, and so you'll see some of this. We're gonna have little interesting ways in which we honor Philip aside from the blue jeans and boots here uh, so that we can uh, do that because the fact of the matter is the Ungala really in a serious way underscores uh, a little bit of Philip's philosophy and that is Proctor's he has often said is the community's living room uh, a gathering place for all and uh, is it ever these days gathering a lot of fans and audience members. It's really just been wonderful to see uh, how Proctor's has become such a busy and thriving place. Uh, and so the question that you have to ask at this point is, and that I think we're all, we all have a little touch, a little sense of all that goes on here, but I think you will be amazed to hear all that goes on here. So to find out a little bit about what in the world Proctor's is up to, a team of Creative Proctor's employees uh, has created a video to sort of catch you up on a lot of what's going on at Proctor's that has taken shape here during the creative decade of leadership by Philip Morris. Let's take a look. Eighty-five years ago, the vision of export billion Frederick Freeman Proctor gave rise to a magnificent palace of the average man, a 2,700-seat theater that became the jewel of Schenectady's downtown. Fifty years later, that downtown had changed, and with it, Proctor's fortunes. It would have been lost to the wrecking ball had a group of concerned citizens not raised the money to revitalize the place. A new roof, a whole lot of paint, and Proctor's was back as a destination for touring shows and a reborn house of movies. But over the next 20 years, it became clear that even as further, deep improvements were needed, so too was a new vision for Schenectady's downtown. In 2002, as Proctors conducted a search for a new CEO, they reached across New York State to Jamestown and offered the position to the already accomplished, charismatic, and visionary Philip Morris. They hoped he might lead the theater to become the centerpiece of the city's new vision. Philip welcomed the challenge and saw that this would be about more than just restoring a theater when he accepted the job. The best Broadway shows had grown bigger than ever, too big for the stage at Proctors. But Philip inaugurated an expansion project that went well beyond just one part of the building. Proctors acquired the empty building next door, giving room for a second, smaller theater equipped with state-of-the-art multimedia equipment, good for movies and meetings, concerts, and smaller shows. A larger, more convenient box office was added, along with business offices, an education center, and even a coffee shop.
Proctor's is cultivating the audiences of tomorrow by bringing its message of the arts to over 40,000 students with activities within its own theaters and in regional classrooms. Proctor's manages Schenectady's public access television channels and has turned them into advanced models of technology and programming. Capital Repertory Theater is the region's only professional company offering a season of locally produced shows. Last year, Proctor's was able to help out Capital Rep by taking over its management, operational, and marketing services, allowing them to continue a 35-year tradition of presenting classics like Man of La Mancha and cutting-edge musicals like Black Pearl Sings. As Proctor's grows and thrives, the surrounding city grows and thrives. More than half a million people travel to Proctor's each year to enjoy more than 1,700 events on our stages. They come from across the capital region and from neighboring states, and they generate over $45 million each year for our associated businesses. Thanks to Philip Morris and his bold vision, Proctor's has become the most densely programmed art space for 150 miles in any direction as patrons pack the house for music and dance, comedy shows, performance art, foreign and domestic movies, and community, corporate, and government events. But the biggest turnout by far is for what Proctor's is now able to do best, present Broadway blockbusters like Wicked, The Lion King, and so many more. On behalf of the Gazette, the Hume family, and our employees, we want to thank you for your vision, your passion, and your contagious spirit for your contributions to Proctor's, our community, and the Capital Region. We congratulate you on your 10 years. We thank you and hope you have an enjoyable evening. Phil, well, congratulations on 10 great years. You have played a significant role in the redevelopment of downtown Schenectady. You've actually been my acting coach in those years. You've found ways to spend more of KeyBank's money than I'll ever do. And all that being said, you've become a really good friend. Thank you for all that, and congratulations on 10 amazing years. Legion of supporters, and you've played a major role in Schenectady's renaissance. And for a decade, you have shown us a wardrobe in need of serious help. And resisted my efforts to get Kathy and my hairdresser to shape and trim your unruly locks. But this we love and respect you greatly. Uh, I'm the uh, former board member of Proctor's. Several years ago, over lunch with Harry Apkarian and Lionel Barthol, we had the opportunity to hire Philip uh, to be the head of Proctor's. Every time I run into Lionel these days, he restarts the conversation reminding me that I have told the board you are probably hiring someone who is going to give you more than you bargained for. And he says we certainly see that every year that has gone by. He has not only done an excellent job of operating the theater, but has been a developer for the city of, Schen of Schenectady's downtown area and has been a tremendous contribution to the area. He'll continue to do so for many years to come. Thank you. Hi, I'm Susan Bates. They tell beginning actors to take their space, to create a presence. Philip Morris doesn't need any acting training. He's already bigger than life. With Proctor's, he has created an institution that not only has a great impact on Schenectady, but the entire Capital District. Thank you, Philip, for all you do. Hey Phil, congratulations on a great 10 years, and thanks for reminding us that you can bring life to the heart of a single city and bring the region together at the same time. Looking forward to another 10 years. You're going to have a little surprise here momentarily. You know, <clears throat> this is one of the things that you learn is that uh, in live theater, you never know what may happen. 
you never know who may appear or not. <laughs> Let me just take my microphone here and begin to see if I can get closer to some of the people that I'd like to introduce you to. Gentlemen, good evening. <laughs> if I could uh, interrupt you, perhaps, can you see these gentlemen down here? No. Well, let's keep bringing the, uh, let's keep rising this if we can. You are coming up, aren't you? I was told that what would happen is I would just walk right out here and uh, we'd be on the same level. If I were to step off right here, we would have a really great show. <laughs> oh, I think you're going back down again. George Washington Bridge. Twenty times we sang the first George Washington Bridge, awaiting the governor of Massachusetts. But. And you know, the thing is, once we had sung it 20 times and he arrived, it wasn't all that great to begin with. <laughs> this is going to be different. This is going to be worth waiting for. When these gentlemen arise, arise, I say. <laughs> They're doing great work. They are indeed. Let me introduce to you folks and they may reveal themselves as I explain them. The Mayor of Schenectady, Gary McCarthy. The Mayor of Troy, Lou Rosamelia. The President of the Saratoga County Chamber of Commerce, Todd Shimkins, representing the Mayor of Saratoga County, Scott Johnson. And Jeff Stone, the Capital Region President of KeyBank, representing Jerry Jennings, the Mayor of Albany. And of course, the one and only. What's this guy's name again? Paul Tonko, United States Congressman. Gentlemen, it is, let me just say it is really great to see you. Great to be seen. Yeah. I was getting a little worried there for a moment. But this is good. And folks, if any of you would like to make a donation to fund a new lift, <laughs> I'm sure folks would be happy to speak to you later. Now, we want to talk just a little bit here about the arts in our capital region. And uh, we don't want to take very much time, and actually, I recognize that it's difficult, especially in a campaign season for some people here, Paul, uh, to uh, <laughs> limit the amount of time that might be taken. But, uh, in, in my line of work, we have uh, length limitations. In broadcasting, there are time limitations. So we're going to pretend here that we're broadcasters. I'm going to ask you each to think about a question I'm going to ask you and give me a 60-second or so answer. And here's the question. Of course, the person who goes first is going to be the one under pressure. And the question is, how do the arts have an impact in your community? Uh, and you, if you prefer, you can cite a particular venue or event in your community that you think is especially uh, wonderful or that you especially care about. So just take uh, a minute, please, to tell us something about the, the arts in your community. And what I might do, I'll start with uh, Todd Shimkus, actually, from the Saratoga Chamber. You know, uh, we might as well go in reverse alphabetical order. And so, uh, tell me about what makes a difference in Saratoga County in terms of the arts. What do you particularly find thrilling up there? Well, you know, there is so much going on in terms of the arts in Saratoga County, but I, I think the one, the one uh, event that everybody's focused on every year is the New York City Ballet at SPAC. It's truly special to, have, to be the summer home of the New York City Ballet. It attracts people from across the world. Uh, to Saratoga County and the region. And so I would say New York City uh, Ballet at SPAC. And I'm probably going to get in trouble with about 25 other different organizations that come in. That's so okay. Don't quote me. <laughs> don't quote me. <laughs> All right, sure, that's fine. It's just, just among a few of us here. All right, Jeff Stone, let's talk about Albany a little bit. What do you think uh, really makes a difference? How do the arts have an impact in Albany, and uh, what in particular do you find attractive there? 
Well, it's a, it's a pleasure here to represent the mayor. When he, when he called me, he said I was the only one that could pull off the tan. So, uh, so I think I had the weight problem that helped to hurt the lip. But, uh, but no, it, the arts, uh, the arts in the, in the, throughout the capital region, but specifically in Albany, there's, there's so much there. There's, you know, be, from the symphony to the palace to, to uh, the museum. But, you know, I think the one that probably sits most with me right now would be uh, uh, Cap Rep and, and all the work that Cap has done. So uh, it's a treasure, and uh, and Philip and Proctor have been a great help with Maggie and the team. Terrific, excellent. I uh, appreciate you guys sticking to 60 seconds too. Lou Rosamilia from uh, from Troy. You know, I used to be the editor of the Troy Records. So I have a particular place uh, for Troy in my heart. Uh, uh, Lou Rosamilia, tell us about the arts impact in Troy and what you particularly care about. Well, the arts, I don't think, uh, when we talk about the arts, don't only add to our society and our culture. I think it defines the city of Troy. The city of Troy is very rich in history, we have an infrastructure, and we have a lot of people that are very active in our community to partake in it. And we have the National Treasure, the Troy Savings Music Hall, which is second to none in the, in the world. We also have now the State of the Art, RPI's impact. And we have our colleges and our universities fully involved now as well. I'd like to also throw out the uh, concept that we have, the, Mo the MOHU is now going to be involved, we've got a 10 day. Yes, MOHU, yes. 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 A 10 day concert starting in October, where the, a lot of events will be going on. We have five different venues in the city of Troy to be used, including Hudson Valley Community College, Sages, RPI, uh, naturally Troy Music Hall, and the RPI Impact. So we're very excited about what's happening in the next 10 days of uh, October 5th through Excellent. All right. Mobile yeah. events. Great. Thank you, Mayor. All right. Now, Mayor McCarthy. Now, I could make it more difficult on you and say you can't say proctors and what, uh, <laughs> uh, what you especially favor, but well, how do you think the arts have an impact in this community? We've clearly seen uh, the impact of the arts and entertainment here in the rebirth of this downtown. And, uh, I think Philip's leadership becomes so key, and we're here tonight to honor him, where it's almost changed proctors from a noun to a verb. This is the center of activity, that there is so much happening here, where at one time you know, proctors was this great theater, but it is so much more today. It sets an agenda, you know, it draws in 650,000 people, and it really adds to the fabric of this community, the fabric of the region, and we're so lucky to have it, and it, does make a difference, and it, it uh, can't underscore how the arts and entertainment, not only here in Schenectady, but in the region, make us competitive in not only the national uh, economic environment, but worldwide. And we're so fortunate to have so many things going on here in Schenectady in the region. Absolutely. All right, Paul Tonko. You can take more than 60 seconds if you like, because what I'm going to ask of you, you know he has to, because, I'm sorry, because, you warned me you were going to say that. I warned you I was going to say that, absolutely, because, uh, talk to us about the region, actually, because since your purview is so broad, uh, think about the impact of the arts, in fact, I, I can't, uh, I've become so accustomed to seeing you at arts events, it seems to me every place I go, you're there. So I know you're a great patron of the arts. Talk to us a little bit about the impact of the arts in this community. Sure, thank you. And thank you, Philip, for bringing us together, not only under the roof of Proctors, but into the concept of regionalization, which is so valuable to the arts community to offer more uh, with a smarter collection of, uh, of, of arts offerings in a way that uh, uh, creates uh, scales of efficiency. But I think for us in this region, um, there are a number of things that happen to the good with the arts. Um, we're inspired, we're challenged, uh, we're stretched by the arts. Um, in this given day of growth of diversity in our culture, the arts can promote a tremendous progressive thinking. Um, it can also define a sense of place, of destination. Um, it allows people to come into our urban cores. We've got wonderful grand theaters like Proctor's and Palace and and capital rep in an intercourse setting that enable us to uh, require us to go into the urban core, which I think speaks profoundly well to the, the sense of urban policy 
You know, the up and coming generations, the youngest work crowd out there today is informing us they want to live in urban settings. And so this creates a livable community, a walkable community. It provides offerings. It creates a more profound sense of place. It offers a, a, a magnanimous sense of destination. And you use the grand theater and pump light back into it. We saw what happened with that, when that emerged with, uh, with Philip's leadership. And to then take his cleverness, where we worked together when I was energy chair of the State Assembly and then at NYSER, we were working on his concept of creating an energy efficiency uh, in a loop here, in, in a downtown core. So the arts are a way to really build the urban block, profess our destination, and to market ourselves as a community, as the new jobs come into an area, and they will, we're the hottest real estate in the country for high tech, clean energy, innovation, ideas, economy, jobs. Well, we, we, want, uh, we want also to manage that well and to show what we are in, in, in depth, who we are holistically. And I think that uh, the arts lift us to that greater sense of place and a profound bit of destination that then allows us to stretch our thinking. Thank you. All right, gentlemen, I'm going to thank you for your presence and tell you your stage direction is to exit stage left. That's that way. Gary McCarthy, the mayor of Schenectady. Lou Rosemary, the mayor of Troy. Todd Chief is president of the chamber. And Jeff Stone, the president of the Thomas, the president of the Gentlemen, Philip Morris. Talk for a moment here, Philip. <laughs> just, just between us. This is isn't that <clears throat> famous question that <clears throat> was asked of. Uh, yeah, never mind. Just, just <laughs> whisper my ear. Very smart of you to put me on your good side. My good side. Is that right? <laughs> <laughs> this is great. So we want to talk a little bit about the impact of the arts here, but first we want to talk a little bit about about Philip. And I just have to ask a question because. I, is it true that there's a Volkswagen buried in your front lawn? Yes, and only parts of it. Parts of it, parts uh, of the Volkswagen buried in floated up. Do you want to talk about this? <laughs> um, I could actually show pictures of it. <laughs> yes, a burning Volkswagen, I heard. A, a, a Volkswagen bus. 1980 bus, it erupted in flames as Kathleen and I were off to go do some errands. But you have traveled all around the country in this, right? All around the country, Nova Scotia, California, and we sat in the car, we started it, and Kathy goes, it's on fire. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> and it, we just watched it burn for four hours. <laughs> As did the Rotterdam Fire Department. Right? <laughs> I swear to you. 